Damn it, Daxon. Fuck. I mean, who even... What even is a warlock? We don't need that. Yeah. All he does is read shit, man. We don't need to read shit right now. That's true. That's true. Well, he's got the two spell slots, right? If you use them both Shh. up at the start, then you just be auto attack. <laughs> Hush, child. <laughs> oh. So then... So then if he shows up late, then all it is is he's just got his spell slots for the end of the fight instead of the start. <laughs> <coughs> or God damn. we just replace him with the specter that he just summoned. Alright. As good a place as any to pick up. And let's see here. Was the server up? Uh, it should be, yeah. Oh, shit. Welcome I... to another game of Skyfall 5e. It's good to have you guys back. How was the week? Wonderful. Wonderful. Beautiful. Anything uh, interesting happen? Same old. Party hard. Did you party hard? Oh, Tell us about it, Soup. Hell yeah. I got sick. I toured some colleges. It was a lot of fun. Lots of partying. You got I even sick made myself and a hot colleges? cocoa. Yeah, it's been what, pretty nice. What are college tours? I'm, I don't understand. Oh, it's like you go to a place, and then you walk around campus, and then someone gives you the flu, and then you come back and you're sick. It's a it's college really nice. brochure come to life. That sounds like a, a proud <laughs> academic tradition. <laughs> I don't really understand yeah. any of that, but um, I mean, I'm glad you had fun. I'm not here to brag, but it was pretty snazzy. Hmm. Well... Uh, I'm glad that you uh, went on some adventures in real life, and uh, we'll pick up with some imaginary ones here. So, uh, you guys have sadly lost accent to uh, the ravages of work and the, uh, the lateness of driving back home. Um, but, uh, there is a pressing matter at hand that calls for your attention anyway, as the room in front of you has roughly a hundred were-rats and a massive pile of stolen treasure as well as what looks to be a were-rat who's seated atop a throne at the very top. What do you guys want to do? Wait, are they, are they killing us? Or, or just see them? Uh, you can hear them, like, you know, writhing and chittering and whatnot and running about inside the room. The room is, by the way, uh, it is lit, but uh, only poorly so. So you can see there's like a couple of lanterns laying around here and there and you sometimes see masses of them running around in the in the torchlight and then di you know disappearing back into the the stygian recesses of the room where you can't see but it doesn't look like they're attacking you immediately what do you want to do the entrance here that you guys are at is horribly blockaded and there is a, a whole bunch of um spears sticking out as well as like the heads of captured humans that hang there and warning you know, piled up crates and whatnot you guys could climb over the thing but it will take a moment mm. <laughs> just sort of how, how much can we see in this room uh how much do you see of it uh i would say Probably like like yay in size, and you would have pockets of light, you know, like here and there, and that kind of thing. A massive pile of trash in the middle. Is anybody looking at us, or just or just in the room? Can we see that? Uh, you can see that they're clearly looking at you. And when the masses run into the the brief uh, little recesses of the fire, and, and you guys can see them, uh, they're clearly aware of your group. I guess this is where we say hi. Can can they speak? I guess we should try to speak to maybe that that one on the pile in the middle. Looks like he could be in charge. 
Hey, uh, hey, you. Where at? As you call out, you hear there's a, a rising tone in the room as a bunch of small conversation in the darkness continues and seems to come up to meet you. But the one atop the throne turns and yells down towards you. And uh, when he does, he says, Have you come to join us? N no. Why would we want to join you? He says, <clears throat> Because soon me and my minions will take all the city. Uh, how exactly do you think you're going to take the city? We'll rise up, and one by one, take everybody. And he, uh, he kind of motions with his arm towards one of the sides of the room, and you can see just, you know, like dozens and dozens of were-rats running around. Hmm. We're not going to be joining them, right, Colcoat? Oh, goodness, no. No, you do not want to be a, a were-rat. I'm going to make a persuasion check here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, me? No, no, I was joking. Like, I was gonna persuade you, you'd just want to be aware. <laughs> well, he's got a point, you know. Do we really want to be on the losing side? So, Colcoat. He's just sort of speaking to Colcoat now. He's yelling. Oh. oh, sorry, you mean you're just speaking to him? Yeah, 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 just speaking to Colcoat, not so that the other rat can hear him. Uh... How do you think we should do this? Should we just leave and come back with the other guys, or...? I wonder if we can scare them off with threat of a hunter-killer. Hmm. I'm kind of curious as to why they're even here. I, I don't ever remember having this kind of problem. Hey, hey, you rat! Where did what? you even come from? Why, why Vosanox? Why now? He, uh, he cranes his head, and I'd like you to make an insight check, please. Fourteen. Okay. I would say that the look on his face, though difficult to discern in the dim light, is one of confusion. And you get the sense that he's not terribly bright. And he doesn't respond when you call out, and he looks at you like, like you've just asked him something impossible, almost. So, uh, you not understand, or, uh, uh, you're not the one in charge, are you? There's got to be someone smarter. He says, no, I'm the king. You, you are, really? Yes. You, do you realize what you're up against in this city? He, uh, he sneers, and he says, uh, we have many numbers. That's all I need to know. Well, there are many numbers that are hunting you down in the sewers as we speak. And if uh, something goes wrong with them, well, uh, we've got uh, quite a reliable plan B. And what's that? Oh, you know, just, uh giant invincible monster that will come and kill all of you I will allow you to roll either uh, actually no I think intimidation would be most fitting here roll make an intimidation roll here don't be terrible oh no Whew. yo yo 20, 20. <clears throat> The, uh, the king pauses there in his chair, and you can see what looks like uh, a change in his body language. He's, he's kind of uncomfortable, as though the chair is suddenly uneven, and uh, he looks at you and he says, Nonsense. Uh, there's no such thing as an invisible monster. Well, it's not invisible. In invincible. 
you will not be able to kill it. You will see it coming. And it will hunt you down and probably rip a giant hole in your chest. Seems to be its favorite way to kill people. He pauses for a moment and leans over his throne. There's like a, a mass of were-rats that are there huddling behind him. And uh, he chats with them for a second, scheming. What do you guys want to do? Cool. It seems that they're having a moment, a team huddle, if you will. Yes, sir. Could we try to turn them against each other? Or do you think that would be unwise because they're too dumb for such things? Hmm. I wonder if we could just get them to go in the Underdark somehow. Go fight them instead of uh, dealing with us. Hmm. Do you know how to go there? Ah, there must be ways through the sewers. They go quite deep. They're not uh, all charted. These, these rats must know the way. The team huddle seems to end, and one of them calls out. Uh, it's the one on the throne again, he says. Why do you tell me this? Uh, well, perhaps we'd like to give you a chance. You don't have to die to the people of Osinux. We have more resources than you know what we are, are or than you could imagine. The force of the army, if they had to come down. What you've been fighting, that, that's not even the army. He turns Why don't and you whispers. just go into the Underdark? Why do you want to live above ground? You would not be able to survive there. Just push further deep. Take those cities. Make a Less persuasion resist. roll, please. God, if he crits, and we just fucking... <laughs> nice. Oh. He turns back, and he says, mm, Fine, but we're taking the stuff with us. Oh, no, my stuff. Oh. Well, you guys, that's a, then, probably a small price to pay, I think. You see, he turns and leans over, and he says, Open the hatch to one of the rats there, and uh, they scurry off, and you hear what sounds like uh, stones being slid around in a dark corner of the room that you can't see. And uh, after the stones have been slid, you hear what sounds like rushing water, like a, like a, a heavy stream that moves past. Uh, before you go, Rat, we, we will agree to the terms, but just remember this is a deal you must keep. You cannot come back and attack Vosuna. And we will leave you alone as well. He pauses for a second and then says... Fine, and then turns around, and uh, you hear the the whole mass in the room kind of move with a unified purpose. And one of the lanterns is, you know, knocked over, and a whole bunch of the mound is suddenly kind of dragged up and scraped about. And you can hear what sounds like things just being thrown into the river. You know, like chairs, desks. You know, um, you hear like coins, things like that, metallic objects, breaking glass. You even hear um, like the rats talking to themselves as they uh, contemplate who should jump first and like the, the efforts of trying to force one rat to go before the other um, before they gradually jump in. And the sound in the room slowly but surely starts to kind of die down and die down and die down until there's just a couple of rats over there. And then it's all gone. The last of them? Let's, uh, let's push in there and have a look around. They've all gone. Yeah, Earl definitely moves forward. He's just quickly scanning to see if there's, you know, anything that they didn't take with them because they didn't think would be useful. Maybe something like in a dart shape or, okay. you know. Make for me a luck roll, please.
Easy peasy. <laughs> Not one. <laughs> The uh, the rats have been thorough, and you know they leave scraps and things like that laying around, but you don't find more than a couple coppers on the ground. They grabbed everything. Like amazing what you can do when you have a hundred uh, sniveling creatures all moving stuff at the same time. If we just take a like while we're looking around for that, is there anything that just seems out of the ordinary? Not like an item, but like that might explain why these rats are here? Ah. Sure. You guys take a moment grabbing the lanterns and head into the room, and bit by bit you examine the walls and kind of, you know, stroll about the area, and you find a few things. You find, namely, the exit that the rats have used, and over here in the corner, there's a large uh, opening. Oh, snap, that's not the square tool. It's like a large square opening over here. And the square opening has a bunch of like little kind of tiles and things like that next to it. Little plates that they must have moved. And there's a rushing water that's just going past. So it's just like a it's like a three or four foot drop down into like very fast moving water, which smells like much of the rest of the sewer. And uh, above this, you see that there's a um, like a grimy plaque on the wall, uh, like a brass plate that's been left there, and uh, it just says "Exit Flow" on it. Hmm. This this seems like it would have been put here by uh, by the city. Well, that must mean there's got to be maps of uh, depths all the way down to here. think we should cover this back up? I don't think it's necessary, but we should make sure that they're not just relocating, and that we properly put them down. Earl, I'd like you to make a perception roll, please. Yeah, yeah. Easy peasy. That's a uh, shit. Wait, why is my character sheet off? Give me a second. I think it's just plus two. Oh no, I still have that injury. Um, that is an eleven. <laughs> okay. You notice that the water here that's rushing by is going by fast enough that it resembles like a rapid, and you don't think that it would be possible to actually swim against a current like this. You think the rats made a one-way trip? wherever this goes. Hmm. Maybe we could throw Mackinar down there. <laughs> what well, if we can't get out, though? Uh, Mackinar will be fine. He's Mackinar. Hmm. I wish that ghost would listen to us. We could make that go down. You could try it. I've seen you. I don't think it likes it. Things. I tried some small talk with it and it uh, just kind of ignored me. Mm. The ghost is spookily coughing next to Dominic. <laughs> well, I guess, uh, I guess that's it. We could ask some city officials to see if uh, they know where this tunnel leads. Well, if they're in the Underdark and won't come back, I mean, can't just leave them. We should at least let uh, the guards know that uh, well, the problem should be gone. Probably best to try to seal up any known exits to the Underdark if it's uh, if at all possible. Now, while you guys are chit-chatting here and coming back up, uh, Macnar, do you say anything? You've been kind of waiting near the entrance. Nope. Okay. Uh... You guys, as a group, hear what sounds like an approach, and there's uh, humans speaking common in hushed tones and many footfalls that are clearly meant to be silent but are ultimately given up by the clatter of uh, belt and strap and metallic plate. And you can tell that that group from up top is making its way over towards you guys, slowly but surely. I wonder why they decided to come in here. Uh, hello up there! 
Are you from the camp? When you call, there's a moment as uh, everybody kind of seems to stop way up the stairs, and then the footsteps come down. This time, less attempt at sub subterfuge. And you see Darthak there leading uh, the group of people. You know, there's, there's maybe about a dozen, uh, slightly more than that. And they come down, and Darthak uh, sees you guys standing there, and he says, We heard all the racket in the room there. Figured we'd check things out, see what you guys had gotten up to. Well, they fled down that tunnel right over there. Hmm. Supposedly, they believed it was to the Underdark. Yes, hmm. they're going to go live in the Underdark instead of bothering us in Vosanak. He narrows his eyes, and he says, You mean you let them get away? Yes. There were we thousands of gold there and bounties. Uh, well, that would be a shame. But, we... not a life was lost. And and we live here in Vosnex. Uh Our city's safety is worth much more than uh, some loot and rat heads. He looks at you and he says, it's not worth that much to me. He crosses his arms. Well, why don't you just hop down the, the, the hole in the back there and go after them? He kind of pushes his way past you, sir. You know, school kid shoving you in the hallway style. And uh, he and his gang make their way into the room. Ah, oh, shit. Next they'll be calling us nerds. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you hear uh, a bunch of chatter over there. It seems like a mild drama is rising in the corner. I'll try to listen in a bit. Can you tell read lips, right, Kolka? No, I can't. I just want to get oh. close to near what's going on. So, uh, are you going down into the Underdark? Uh, I wouldn't advise it. Uh, Darthak turns to you and he says, um, There's no maps for where this goes. It's the end of the line. Yeah, into the Underdark. <sighs> I'm not chasing some bounty money going completely into the dark. <sighs> You are fools to let them go. There must have been hundreds of them. Ten gold a tail? Wait, why are you getting ten gold a tail? I thought the guards were paying five copper for the head? Who's buying these tails? He looks at you and he says, Well, it's all ruined now. Well, if you'd filled us in that you needed tails, maybe we could have helped you with it. I mean, I just figured. Five copper. That's not worth anything. Yeah, we don't care about five copper. The, uh, the guard looks at the two of you, and uh, he pauses for a second, puts, you know, his fingers to the, the bridge of his nose, and obvious frustration, and then... He just turns around and says, All right, men, we've wasted enough time here in this city. And uh, they just kind of move past and gradually exit. Well, let's, uh, let's get out of these smelly sewers. For a second there, I thought they were actually going to go down. Yeah, I thought they might too. Uh, well, so probably for the best, though. I wonder who's selling those tails. Yeah, I kind of want to ask Ragriff about that. <laughs> it's just weird. The tail. Alright. What should we do now? 
Well, let's uh, if Makinor could lead the way, we can head back to the surface. Let the Ragriff know what has gone on with the rats. The surface, then? Yeah, just headed back oh, to yeah. the surface. Okay. <clears throat> so you guys turn and head on out of here and leave behind these these uh, dank sewer tunnels and decide to just go all the way back up. On the way, you um, pass the camp there, and the men have not left yet. They're still in the area packing up their things as they've clearly set up a base camp here and now have to pack everything and. You guys definitely get a few dirty looks as you're passing through here. Um, but ultimately nothing comes of it. And uh, you guys pass into the, the tunnels and soon start following your map until eventually you emerge into the city proper and pass through that gateway with a couple of guards that you guys have been through so many times in the last little while. Where are you going? Probably to uh, see Uragra. Let him know. Okay. Yeah, we can quickly swoop on by. <clears throat> you head over there, and hoping to see the guard captain here. Somebody roll luck. Agner. And we get it. Oh, shit! Uh, is that Jenks? <laughs> Yeah. Sure, you can re-roll that. Looks jank to me. Into the token pile for luck. Oh, nice, nice. Mm. Okay. Bragref is there, and it doesn't take very long before the uh, receptionist has you speaking with him outside. And he uh, steps up and says, Ah, my friends, it's good to see you again. News? Uh, yes, we, we were returned from the sewer. Uh, we've made uh, an agreement with the, the where at. Uh, he seems puzzled we, by this. We uh, we ran into the one that called himself their king. I let them take the loot in order to to leave Vosnux and uh, go try to live in the Underdark. What, is that not good? They're gone forever. No, that's good. I just... I think the city had hopes of seeing uh, its possessions again. Hey, we had to give up ours too, but we figured the safety of the city is... Well, you can't put a price on that. He, he nods and he says, I know, I know. I can just... I can have some uncomfortable conversations in the next little while. You did good. Uh, when we were down there, uh, they had jumped into some uh, some tunnel that had the rushing water and it said the exit flow. I, I don't know if there's any records of uh, where that might go, just in case anybody wants to keep tabs on it. That sounds familiar. I've been poring over those maps for the last little while myself. I think that's where the sewer ends. It just pours into the Underdark. Oh, that's good. They kept their end of the bargain. If they do come back, uh, please make sure we know right away that we've got to uh, enforce our side of it. He nods and says, well, here, uh, might as well take this as reward then. And uh, he hands you a bag of 200 gold. Oh, well, uh, thank you, Ragriff. Oh, that, that reminds me. Um, the mercenaries were talking about someone paying 10 gold for a, a rat tail. Hmm. Is that you? Is that the guards? I thought you were paying copper for the heads. He shakes his head and he says, 
Nope, that wasn't us. Any idea who might want rat tails? He, uh, he furrows his brow for a second, looking off into the distance, staring at what looks like a couple of large cog wheels emerging from a nearby building, some factory machine, and he just kind of stares at them for a second and then turns back and says, hmm. Well, ten for a tail, that's, that's quite a bit of gold. Yes, it is. Must be some company, maybe a, maybe a noble family. I guess we could always ask our pal Flavecci. Hmm. Strange. Yes, uh, we thought it was odd. Well, they won't get them now. So whatever it was that they wanted. Eh. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's for the best. Yeah, he nods and he says, well... Hopefully there won't be any attacks. Yeah. Maybe yeah, that means uh, too deep for them to come back. Uh, they'd be fools to do it. I know they stand no chance. I'll leave a couple of uh, exploration rewards for the deeper portions under the city. Maybe somebody will find out what happened to all that stuff. I'll put out a couple of warnings in case there's any adventurers that are thinking of trying their luck down there. Yeah, try to make sure people don't uh, start walking around trying to find the Underdark to find these rats. Well, you've been a great help. And uh, he extends a hand to shake with you guys. Yeah, I'll shake his hand. Yo, yo. Okay. Always uh, happy to help the city. A couple of you guys shake, and he nods and says, Well, another job well done. Thanks, you've, uh... Well, you've saved the city again, in a way. Anyway, I should get back to work. Uh, still got, you know, minor stuff to take care of up here. I'll let you know if anything happens. Oh, thank you, yeah. We should get going as well. We've got, uh, things to do. He gives you a smile and a nod and then heads off and uh, even gives you guys kind of like a, a brief salute, uh, which seems to be a first as he kind of turns back and heads into the building. Well, all things went well, I guess. Yes, uh, good to know that there's not a whole bunch of rats running around in sewers right now. Especially since we have to bring all of our books to, uh, you know where. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, what should we do once we get to, uh, you know where? Well, we've, we've been gone a bit. Uh, I guess we can always see what it's learned. Earl just nods. Did we add the 200 gold to our inventory? Someone should have it. He would have put it like in Colcoat's hands initially, but I don't. Uh, it seems Macnor yeah. the loot machine. I'll hand it to Macnor. Macnor requires loot. <laughs> How much gold do you need to build another simulacrum? <laughs> Many golds. Damn, we're gonna have to do that. <laughs> Well, uh, anyone have anything to do, or do we want to grab our books and uh, bring them to, uh, sewers? Hmm. I was wondering if... Well, once we get there, we can discuss further, but I think it's about time that I start working on finding that dart again. Oh, yes, hopefully, uh... Hopefully the, uh, the ship down there will be able to help out, now that we have this uh, new information. Earl nods, and then starts to head out the door towards our little sewer place. <laughs> I think we have to go to the shop first, the books are there. Oh, sure. right. Yeah. We'll the shop. Okay. So you guys head by the shop, is there anything that you're grabbing other than the books? It seems like your shop has been left unmolested. I don't think we have anything there that we need. 
Okay. Him now. You guys step inside and look around at the shelves, very uh, poorly stocked. Only the little tools that Mackinar picked up the last time are laying about. And you guys know that, uh, well, you're probably never going to see that old gear again. Uh, it's a shame to lose it, but better than losing the whole city. But hey, we've got even better things now. And, well, it's just, it's good that we could remove the rats without any of those fools going down into fighting them. Hey, are you okay? You got bit by one, right? Oh, uh, he looks down at the wound. Is it like, I don't know, does it look weird or is it just a normal wound? Just a furry patch. Uh, no, it's <laughs> just, just... just cheese growing out of it. <laughs> <laughs> it seems normal. Um, you know, it's it started to scab over as much as a wound does in the space of, you know, a few hours. I mean, when Coulter got bit, that was like an immediate effect, right? If I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, like two minutes passed and one of his ears popped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would say given how you guys saw the last one, either Colcoat is like exceptionally weak to the uh, the Were-Rat curse, or Erlebald just, you know, he got bit and uh, his body managed to beat the thing. Uh, looks like I'm fine. I still taste that cheese in my mouth, but I think it's from it's, the cheese that we ate before we went down into the sewers. It's the antidote. <laughs> mm, yes, I can still taste the cheese too, so that's probably it. Mm, that was some good cheese. <laughs> yes, yes it was. Oh, maybe we can find like the cheese plane. Freldas is just cheese. reading like a magazine in the corner, <laughs> infinitely confused, listening to all this. <laughs> things considered. It was good work, Coco. Yeah, team effort as always. Catman Robotic. Hmm. Before we get too busy with anything, should we pair little friends on the amulet a message? Well, I guess you could see if they've said anything. You go for the amulet to see if there's a new message, and believe it or not, nobody has said anything. You are the last ones mentioning that you're on a secret mission to beware the snakes to the south, and Celestine can be trusted. No one has replied since. That's strange, haven't they always sent messages before? Hmm. Yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe. I'm not quite sure how it works. We should tell them mission complete so they know that we've succeeded. Ooh, very good, very good. But, what if they don't, uh, respond? I mean, again, our last message had urgency to it. Not a peep. Maybe we could give them a discount. <laughs> or something, I'm not sure. Well, I guess we can say whatever. I don't know that we had any urgency. Things, uh, we're not really in the panic right now. Where rats are gone. Hopefully they don't think Celestine is bad anymore. In any case, should we get going to... I guess you know where. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get these books and uh, get them down so the ship can start learning a bit about uh, the world we are in. Harold <laughs> nods and just picks up some books. Yeah, we'll come all up and... right? Oh, yeah, we're in the shop. Harold uh, Doss, were you able to acquire the cart I had requested? Oh, yeah, it's over here. And uh, he gets up from his chair and steps around the desk there and wheels out a cart for you. And you can see it looks just like, you know, a normal wheelbarrow made of wood and reinforced iron. 
Thank you. This will do splendid. What are you... What are you getting with that, anyway? In the event we desire additional material, this will make it easier to transport. Oh, okay, you're going shopping. Yes. <laughs> he nods and sits back down. Anything else, or are we ready to go? Um, Illusion, what do I need to finish that marble uh, short sword I started? Do I need the forge, or is that something I can do on my own at this point? Uh, I would say you could do it with the supplies that you have left now that it's been cast. You just need to finish working on it in your free time. Okay, so I'll like, bundle that along with me. Probably okay. throw it in the cart. So you bring along this uh, this blank. You know, you've, you've already put the thing into its general blade shape and there's the tang there that needs to have a handle thrown upon it and uh, all stuff that you could you know easily do with your own hand gear and uh, soon you've got the wheelbarrow packed with some blacksmith tools and you know this this half finished sword a bunch of books uh, anything else I don't think I need anything. Hmm. No, I think I'm good. I think we're good. To okay. the sewers. All right. You guys turn and head off and uh, make your way back down into the sewers once again. The terrible smells are something that you guys never seem to really get used to, and passing through that gate is always an unpleasant experience. But uh, you stomach it and travel down through the tunnels on your way. And I would like a luck roll, please. Use the tokens. Use the pile of tokens. You got it, Soup? Of course I got it. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Yeah, that's an eight. <laughs> okay. Traveling through the sewers, you guys hear uneasy sounds every now and then. Sometimes it's a footstep, other times a, a critter running down, other times a, something f flopping about in the water. But nothing assails you, and gradually you make it to that space, the, the hidden doorway, passing through, getting onto the steps, and going further down until you eventually get towards that hidden facility. You're standing in front of the door now. I'll walk up to the door and say, Hello, I am Mackinar of Catman Robotics. There's a, a brief shimmer, and the door pulls apart. The puzzle solves itself, and you guys are admitted entry. Walk inside. You step into your own little personal facility here. Triumphant, the captain returns with his crew, and uh, soon you're in the main room here with uh, all the lights kind of coming back on and everything like that. And uh, the door closed behind us. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Once once the last of you make it through, the door closes. Now, it's at this point that I need a roll from you guys, because if I'm not mistaken, we couldn't remember if you had left the computer running with the locks off for learning, or if you had left them uh, with a time on them or not. So, I want somebody to make a luck roll, please. Who's feeling lucky? I'm always lucky. No one else deep, wants to Deep into it. the token pile. You gotta throw it deep into the token pile. Ah, uh, it's not deep enough. It's nowhere near deep enough. What have you done? Oh my god. Uh... But, oh, God. <laughs> I would have given you that 20 anyway. If it... So, uh, he fucking told us to roll to the to token pile. Volution brings the token pile to us. So, Sue, you just rolled a 20. How long do you want the machine to have had the locks on or off? What, what would you prefer? So, as the roller of the nat 20, can I... Uh, put this burden on someone smarter than myself, like Relic. You could, but that would be gay. Uh, I'm a flaming homosexual. <laughs> I don't understand this robot. 
Yeah, you guys can choose. What, what do you think, Relic? <laughs> You've been elected the uh, the smart one here. How long should the computer have been operating without uh, the locks? See, like, initially I had an opinion, but now I could go either way, so I'm just going to roll a d20. We'll see what happens. Sure. <laughs> uh, 1 through 10, it was just an hour. 11 through 20, it was a lot. A lot, okay. We're going with a lot, boys. There we go. Okay. You guys return, the robotic voice sounding out from the hall now, as though it comes from the ceiling itself, and it says, Welcome back, Captain. Thank you. I you see well? you've brought books, as you had mentioned before. Indeed. I would very much like to read them. How do you read books? You can place you them to turn the pages for you. <laughs> you can place them on the console um, back in the main room. Is that the accent? <clears throat> <coughs> oh, uh, the accent's back. Gen gentlemen, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I seem to have fallen to the spell again. Uh, A large fur really? ball escapes from Dominic's mouth here onto the ground. Full <laughs> go. <laughs> Yes. Is this normal? Uh, maybe for me. <laughs> have you, have, like, you've been licking my fur in my, the sleep, my sleeper or something? Like, that's not no. normal. Uh, <laughs> there is an odd amount of fur in the workshop. Wait, so you're saying you have been licking that's fur? Guys used to no, I just sleep fur. very close to the ground. Maybe I've been inhaling during the night. Who knows? This is getting weird maybe, very fast. Maybe it could have been some sort of issue with the wear rats. Who knows? Oh, why are you licking wear rats? Dominic. <laughs> this is why you get sick. It. Don't put a rat <laughs> in your mouth. Oh. Did you know that actually rat is a uh, fine cuisine in uh, Kazatov? Oh, no, just stop. We don't <laughs> care about anything else. You I am glad it. I reside in Bosnox. If you fry their tail, it's actually delicate. <laughs> it all makes sense. Dominic was buying oh, all that is why people want a tail. Oh, I see. Someone was paying ten gold a tail. But if it wasn't the guards, we don't know who it was. Must be a chef. Hmm. So do you want to give these books to the ship here? Yes. What book do you want first, ship? I'm unaware of what the choices are. I believe the Skyfall lore book would be the first one. Hmm. If you wish. Somebody had a card with the different books, right? Uh, I have my inventory. We had a oh, okay. Kesman lore book, Skyfall lore book, Star Chart, a book of planes, and a book of ore and smithing. Refining. Okay. Although that was, I think, more for me than the ship. You placed the book onto the console, I assume? Mm-hmm. All right. When you do, there's a, a subtle magical force that actually blows open the top of the book here, and gradually the pages are, you know, kind of moved from one side to the other. And uh, the the machine seems to move through the pages with a with a staccato kind of beat, like the, it goes like a couple of pages in, sometimes a couple of pages backwards, and a few more pages forwards, but it moves through them pretty fast. And uh, during this time, it says nothing. If you require any clarifications on the knowledge that you read in the books, please let me know. This is a, a lot to take in. You're going a bit robot on me? Oh, snap. Is Discord having a seizure? I think it was me joining people. Oh, okay. Do I sound okay now? <laughs> Yeah, you can't find now. Alright. Good job. Oh, while we're giving information to the ship, 
Would we be able to, well, check our amulet, see if there's any updates? Last we saw. We we checked and uh, there is nothing. There is nothing. Hmm. All right. What did we last send it. again? <laughs> we told them we were on a secret mission and to uh, trust Celestine. Maybe they disdain the fact that we told them to trust someone that they thought was an enemy. Doesn't really matter. They're lost. Hmm. Before long, the ship seems to be finished, and the last pages of the book go by, and then the whole thing is closed. And the voice speaks again, and it seems almost changed, and it, it speaks to you in a, a less robotic fashion. The words aren't spaced out as awkwardly. And uh, it says, I thought that was a good read. Do you have anything else? Yes. Next there is the lore book of Keswick. Hmm. There's mention of that realm many times in this book. It seems they're connected. Do we have a world map? Yes, you do. Uh, can I throw that on the console next? Sure. Mm. I see. Captain? Yes. My ability to learn has expanded many times since the last time that we spoke. If you wouldn't mind, I would happily read through whatever books you have now. You didn't give them to me in one-at-a-time fashion. Shall I place all, uh, all books on the console? Certainly. I will do so. I will place the Caswin lore book, star charts, Book of Planes, and even the Smithing and Ore one. Okay. The books all open up and start having their pages kind of flipped back and forth. That's quite impressive. I can barely pay attention to one book at a time. As you guys are kind of standing here watching the spectacle, eventually, a couple of minutes later, the books seem to have finished being read, and one by one, they're kind of closed on themselves. The computer continues, and it says, hmm. Captain, I assume that you wish to plot a course back to the last coordinates we were at. That was one possibility we had discussed. I did have a question. After you have consumed additional knowledge, are you aware of any means by which we may refuel you? Hmm. I have dissected what knowledge is available, and I believe that there is indeed a substance in your plane of existence that would qualify for fuel components. What would that be? Well, currently there are only small shortages. The main being uh, a lack of the Kanosive gas, which I believe can be created from some beings that are mentioned here in the Skyfall lore. Which beings? Uh, the Myconids, or Mushroom People. I believe they can be rendered down and transformed into the gas. 
It is conceivable that the facility has been left here on this planet for such a reason. It would not make sense to have it placed on a plane where there would be no fuel. I had surmised this earlier, but now I am certain of it. Have we heard of these mushroom people? Like, are they be familiar uh, to us? I would say you could roll nature if you have it. Um, How about history? Oh, oh no, sure. I do have nature. I am history. Ready. I got history. No, guys, you're not allowed to. Oh, no. allowed to. Yeah, go for have it. Have we had a long rest? Uh, no. No. Ah. Oh! <laughs> Eight for Eight. nature. Eight for history. Eleven history, okay. So I would say... Uh, eight history won't get you anything. Eleven, you've heard talk of mushroom people. Um, you don't really know much about them, but it's it's said that they exist. Culcote, you would know that the the mushroom people, uh, the myconids, live underground. But other than that, they're kind of a mystery to you. You don't know anything about if they're like intelligent or bestial. If they're you know in caves or in the underdark, you're at a loss. Definitely not something you've read a lot about. Ship, would you be able to scan the planet for these Myconids? Mm -hmm. Sadly, no. I have the ability to uh, sense and travel to other planes, but a limited amount of... Uh... I have a limited scope. You could say that my vision travels over the surface, but I can't actually see underneath a planet. Wait, wait, you guys, I just had a thought. If the facility was built here, and if it had to have been for some kind of reason, uh, what's underneath us? Just further down. No, <laughs> but are you suggesting even further like than that. Maybe these mushroom people live in the Underdark, below Valsinux? Potentially. Hmm. That is an interesting theory. That would make sense. Ship, is there any way to enhance your sensor? Potentially have you pierce the heavens and the ground? I don't believe so. We could look into it further, we could go on the expedition ourselves. I can imagine what it would be like to be able to scan through the ground and the rock layers, but as it stands right now, I'm not certain what contraption or sensors would be needed to do such a thing. Hmm. I know there's oh, spells that might help, but I don't know if we'd be able to teach you spells. I don't believe that I possess the ability to work magic. Hey, who's got that map of uh, the sewers? Maybe if we put that uh, on the console. Maybe it'll jog the, jog the memory. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Throw that on there. Throw on, like, <laughs> every piece of paper that we have. Sure. The thing is flipped around for a moment, and soon the thing continues, and it says, Hmm. It is possible. The city has not been explored entirely. The map is laid out in three layers, each seeming to be older than the last. It looks as though the sewers were expanded as... Hmm. Is there adequate space for the facility that is currently here? Adequate space? Mm-hmm. In the map, it didn't detail the fact that this facility was here, but obviously it is. Could it be assumable that there might be an adjacent area where the mushroom people are? I see. As per your inquiry, I don't see anything underneath immediately. There are no portions of the sewer, n no piping that travels underneath this facility. I got a question for you, Lucian. On that map, um... Does it show where the facility, like the area that led to it? Like, is there a spot on the facility that, like, oh, it says there should be tunnels here, but there's not? Yeah, there's like or a it... 
blank spot, basically, where, um... Okay, but, it, but it's not like, oh, there are tunnels here, and the facility is where the tunnels are supposed to be. It's just a blank spot that's not mapped. Yeah. I think that was... Okay. Is there anywhere else on the map that a spot such as the facility's blank canvas, is there anything else obvious like that on the map, computer? Hmm. This appears to be one of a few... There are other locations here within the sewers where the map is incomplete. I'm not certain if there's anything related to this facility to be found nearby. They could simply be expansions that have not been finished. The sewers are created in a very disorderly fashion. I sense little pattern in their uh, spread throughout the underground. Well, it seems like the other ones usually did have a pattern. Maybe there's some sort of hidden pattern in the grid layout that is originally because of the Elder Ones. It is possible that I've not seen a pattern, but I have looked over the map many times. Hmm. Hmm. Well, should we explore a bit and try to find... The area, or...? Well, if anything, I think we need to find uh, possible entrances to the Underdark uh, that are not uh, the one the rats went into. I don't want to go on that. Maybe have a nap. What happened while I was in my spell? We were... I remember us defeating the rats. Oh, we bargained with the rats uh, that are going to go live in Kazatov and uh, leave Vosnux alone. Mm. I like nudge Earl. God, they're uh, they will likely not meet happy lives there. Well, no, like we I told said, them to look for your parents that uh, they could check up with them. Ratel, once again, delicacy. They will be slaughtered, all of them, mercilessly. They'll likely come find you for decimating their entire population if there are any survivors. Oh, you should be scared, Earl. Oh. You should be. Terrifying. How many do you think will come back for Colcoat? I mean, could be one. the tail. Could be none. Well, they're not to come back for me. They didn't actually go to Kazatov. But Colcoat. I didn't think it was such a savage place. Jeez. <laughs> oh, never doubt my people. No, we just sent them to the Underdark, which I think seems like a better place now than Kazatov. Did... At least for them. Did they leave our equipment, our personal supplies, uh, or uh, no? That was kind of part of the deal. They kept stuff, went to the Underdark, and uh, that will be the last we see of them. Hopefully. Uh, mm, did they leave something? Uh, table talk, no, because we rolled a one. A Fuck! Dart. <laughs> no! You did beat the boss through persuasion checks, though. That's yeah, we got a 19 cool. and an 18, so... Dude! Or no, right. a 19 and a 20. I'm so Isn't sad your... I couldn't be there, because I have a plus eight to that. Isn't your charisma plus one, Colt Coat? Yeah, plus one. <laughs> yeah, dude. Good job. That it's is like, so fucking awesome. When you get to the end of Fallout there, and it's like, convince, and you see like 2%, you just press it, and he's like, okay, I see it your way. I made a convincing argument. Bitch, you... What? Oh, alright. Oh, I'm not gonna fight it. I'm not gonna fight it. Ah. <sighs> But yeah, I have a 20 in charisma. Damn. Yeah, it sucks to see our stuff go, but uh, the city should be safe. Fair enough. Did they take their dead, or <laughs> is that for us to make profit on? Eh, uh, we, we didn't actually have to fight any of them. The ones that we did kill, though. Oh, I'm sure the others uh, behind us. The, uh... <laughs> The mercenary guys came up behind and were kind of mad. That's when we found out about the tails. Oh. Kind of mad. Kind of mad. They were kind of bummed out, you know. Well, I knew Oh, hey, Spectre was still here. How are you doing, Spectre? Doesn't that thing last for, like, till you long rest? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he's just floating. Have... Yeah. Well... 
I think I saw your Spectre cough. I had a ball up too. He's a bad influence on you. Well, he was originally red, so maybe it's a maybe it's a side effect. Maybe whatever body. You guys, did he get bit? Me? Oh, I don't believe so. He's blinking in and out of existence. I was whispering, and he heard me. He got bit. He didn't. Have to watch him, Magna. Really? Uh, full coat. You're very bad at whispering sometimes. Shit. He heard us. I, I think he's bluffing. He heard nothing. <laughs> You're right, Colco. I heard nothing. You're not really convincing me that you didn't get vid, Dominic. You want some cheese? Uh, you know what? Coco, I would love... <laughs> you just hear a gun shoot. <laughs> <laughs> you just... <laughs> Like, ah, you know, that was a bad question, because I could go for some, too. <laughs> That's alright, Earl got bit, he's fine, maybe you'll find too. I believe so. Say, so, what's our next course of action? Well, we can go kill a bunch of mushroom people. Yes, but... Go for the golden dart, or go kill snakes. Ooh. My vote is Golden Dart for the moment. We can come find the Mushroom People after that. It's not exactly pertinent, as the ship said. Earl um, nods along as well. Golden Dart seems like a fine plan. Get slightly out of the city. Experience other parts of the world. It Sounds like a great time. Far too long since I've been on the hunt for the Dart. And while we're transporting, maybe uh, catch a bit of rest. Uh, I'm feeling slightly, um... <clears throat> I have had an interesting one. thought. Oh, what might that be? Depending on supplies available to us, it might be possible to purchase the materials required to refuel the ship, rather than collect them ourselves. I like that. I know exactly the man to ask, too good friend of ours. The thought occurs to me that even if such materials are not located within Vasanas, we have the means to transport anywhere. And the resources to figure out where or who has them. Precisely. However, there is a follow-up question I have for the ship. Ship. Y yes? Were you able to take readings of the material on the planet of our previous destination? Hmm. No. Though I remember that you returned with some. Hmm. I was attempting to use the materials to create a usable alloy. However, I was only partially successful. I see. Hmm. Well... The text you have brought me has taught me a thing or two about alloys and metals. Perhaps I could aid. Though, as it stands, I do not feel as though I have access to metal processing. Mm. Captain, if you allowed yes. me access to the hunter killer and gave me control of it, I could use it like... Like you organic beings would use feet and hands to travel from here and go and acquire the things necessary for such a task. Hmm. I would be opposed to this. That is an interesting thought. However, I was under the impression the hunter killer was still partially damaged. It is, though operable and functional enough that it can likely leave the facility, from what I can tell. Captain, can I ask one of your companions a question? Certainly. Hello. Your name is Earl, is it not? Yes, my name is Earl. Earl, I'm curious. Could you tell me, in a sequence of numbers, which would come after these three? 13, 17, and 19? 
Why? I wish to assess your intelligence. I'll have a pass at your question. Hmm. Captain, I do not believe that you or any of your companions are Elder Ones. Haven't we already gone over this before? I figured it may have been a lie, but now I see. Chip, this is not new information. We admitted it to you. You are correct. Does this pose an issue? I don't believe so. Hmm. Well, is anyone opposed to a little shut-eye as we pursue the Golden Dart and come across supplies another time asking our dear friend Povechi? Hmm. No, some rest would serve us all well. Uh, what are we gonna do about uh, taking the hunter killer and perhaps looking in uh, the underdark for the uh, mushrooms? Well, uh, as the ship said, it's not uh, very. Uh, it's not an immediate threat to do so. So we could save some time, try to find the golden dart, just so ourselves and Rome might feel a little bit more secure. But Certainly. Uh, the Hunter Killer. And then we'd also have uh, more powerful tools at our disposal to hunt down these mushrooms ourselves. Would such... Well, I guess that makes me ask a question. How smart are these mushrooms? Are these actual creatures or animals? Likely creatures? Are they violent like frogs, or I would just be opposed to going out and slaughtering living creatures that are good for fuel? Earl, would you consider bovine good? Bovine? Is that a type of dart? Do you enjoy steak? <laughs> Is that a type of dart? <laughs> <laughs> yes, steak is delicious. But cows are not intelligent, are they? They're just no, dumb animals. but they might be good. I'd still eat Who the knows? cow if it was intelligent. Ah, uh, coal coat. <laughs> what? It's delicious. <laughs> a cat's got to eat. Earl. It's yes. worth keeping our friend alive. I do believe that'd be worthwhile. But we can assess their intelligence and have this conversation at the time. Yes, we can postpone this conversation. Really, bovine? That's a... This is steak. what cows are called. Cows and bulls. They are known mm -hmm. as bovine. Why do we have so many words for food? Rafar. Earl, Earl, Earl is very confused. He's like, pondering this situation very deeply. Your people Earl have just... already killed and harvested many different types of life forms with intelligences similar to or greater than your own. This would not be an abnormal action for you to go and hunt down these myconids. Is there, Aleutian, I have a question, is there like a Skyfall equivalent of Hitler? Just like a genocidal <laughs> Kubiak that we would probably know of? Uh, yeah, the, um, the, the King of the High Elves would be, like, the Skyfall equivalent of Hitler. <laughs> well, robot. Though he's long gone. There are many different types of people. Just because one person calls a cow bovine for no reason doesn't mean we all have to follow suit. The same with killing, well, I don't know, frogs or halflings 
or humans or elves. It's you can choice. also you can also enchant various different beings to have greater intelligence. Just just as a side note. Mm. I see the line of logic you're pursuing, Earl. However, I would mention that I require this gas as fuel so that I can exist. Would you stop eating? Hmm. No, I guess I would not. Though it seems that you do not have to consume much to exist. Is it's that true. Correct? I can survive for much longer than, well, any of you life forms. With the possible exception of the captain, I can tell that he is unique. Yes, Mackinar cannot die. <laughs> <laughs> well, is this true, Captain? Are you immortal? I believe that as long as I maintain my body in peak condition, I functionally will not die of old age. I've seen snakes push him off a tower. It would have been certain death for anyone else. It is true, Mackinac cannot die. I think I understand. Well, my request still stands. I would like access to the Hunter Killer if you'll allow me. I could make repairs to it, and even go about returning gas and finding more supplies. A blacksmithy, as your people call it, could also be set up here. I could, in theory, construct anything that would fit within the facility. Hmm. I believe it is a worthwhile pursuit, but one that I would like to further investigate, potentially after we receive the old duck. Chip. Yes. What are the exterior dimensions of yourself? I consist of roughly about four rooms, not including the capsule that can travel and dream into other planes. Approximately, what are the exterior dimensions of the capsule? Mm -hmm. uh, Tail talk, I'm trying to figure out if, we, if it will fit inside the shell. Oh, inside I see. Uh, I would say that you think that it could, but it would probably, like take up the main room of it or or no you could probably fit it because you have a storage room i would say you could port this thing into the storage room it would like touch the ceiling in the ground but you guys had traveled to a planet and had it phase into the ground however yeah well, it's like, it's like in in machinar's head he's currently wondering like is there bedrock next to our shop that we can just like have the hatch appear mm -hmm. essentially in the side of the wall yeah and it'll just occupy like space nobody's using yeah you think that you could do that when, when the ship tells you how big the capsule is, you, you compare the two and you think that it could fit. Sort of explain this idea to the party. Oh. I believe we may be able to... I had the thought that it might be possible to have the ship temporarily store itself within the shop in Vasana, thus reducing our travel time considerably. I must remind you, I cannot choose my location of destination perfectly and there is a random variance is there a way to reduce this variance hmm. familiarity the ship travels by a constructed dream and then making the dream reality if i am traveling to some place in a dream for the first time it is difficult to land where I want to, but if I've had the dream multiple times, it's much simpler. Another thing, from the way that you talk, I surmise that you are in Vosnux, the underground city, which would add a secondary complication, as I can only see the surface. Hmm. Understood. What if I were able to sort of give you an idea of what our shop looks like and the location of it in the grand scheme of the vastness of Vox of Vox. It would help. Maps would be useful as well. But I'm calculating variance. Please wait. 
while it's doing that, would I be able to minor illusion just above the console various different images of what Vosnex looks like going inside and then like looking up and then imagining our shop and having it like circle in the minor illusion just like sequentially? Sure, you can try. Minor Illusion isn't exactly, like, a perfect hologram that you can just summon, but you can try and kind of give, like, bits of locations and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, I'll try. Um, eventually the ship returns and says... Hmm. I could attempt this jump, though I would mention that there is a... 25% chance that I will end up in a building next to yours. Hmm. We Do could. We best friend <laughs> with <laughs> the lugs. Hmm. Perhaps a more practical solution would be to have the ship temporarily stored on the surface outside the city of Asana. Thus not requiring us to travel through the sewers. If you do so, I would recommend keeping all of the cloaks ready. Hmm. I have read much on Vosnux and the empire to which it belongs. They are very warlike. I am not certain what they would do if they were able to get control of me, though I would imagine they would study me and use me for weapons of war if they could. Luckily, you are right. Who would do that? <laughs> <laughs> Coat, I sense violent intentions. <laughs> not, not violent, it's just uh, there's some attacks from the south from uh, these Wanti. I'm sure that they're in the book at some point. I see. Are you a native of this city? Uh, I live here, but I uh, was born over in uh, Oris Ren. Mm. I think you've adopted some of the customs or customs and modality of thinking that is common to the region and have become warlike just as they are. Do you I think it might have to do with our trips down south. There was a, a fog cloud and a snake and a... I don't want to talk about it. Very, very feminine screams are... You may be suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. Right. I've never heard of that, but uh, <laughs> maybe. Is that a type of dart? <laughs> Wait, wouldn't no, I don't know about no, all the types of not. darts? I don't know, my immersion's being broken here. <laughs> Captain. Earl's just joking at this point. Yeah. I, th I think I've achieved an intelligence... Deserving of a name. Hmm. Are if you, you requesting that I assign you a name? Potentially. Though I don't want a silly one. Hmm. Many historical figures have regretted the names that they were given. If you choose to give me one, I would prefer to have... Maybe a normal human name. Hmm. Please allow me some time to think about this. Can we, uh, can we get Table Talk real meta for a second and just, uh, <clears throat> maybe call him, I don't know, something like. Dave? <laughs> I was thinking about that. <laughs> I think you could call him Dave. I'm good with it. Dave Hal sounds a little bit too on point, but Dave just has the right amount of, you know, meta. Mm. I'm trying to think of any puns. We could call him Robby. Robby? <laughs> Robby yeah. Robot. Thanks for Game Watch. Or we could just do Dave. Or, uh, Hal. I think Dave. Hal. Hal. Good. 
Hey, Hal. Hal. Supposed to be a long, slightly longer name, slightly fancier sounding name. It's expansion of Hal. Harold. Halbert. Halbert. <laughs> um. Do Harold or Henry? Hmm. Kaylee or Hal? Kaylee's comet. Hmm. 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 I would like to propose the name Harold Automatia. Harold is a sufficient name. Thank you, Captain. You're welcome. Do you, do you like your name, Harold? It is a good name. I feel like a Harold. I am curious, Harold. And if you think about it, Colcoat, you'll be pleased to know that it is very similar in sound to Harold, like one who brings something. I could be a Herald of Destruction to your enemies. Hmm. That, that's a nice word. Slightly terrifying. <laughs> I'm sorry, you withdrew when I said that. I assumed you would be pleased. Oh, no, no, I, I, I like to destroy our enemies. Good. But but don't don't get the Empire too wrong. See, the one tier, I'm sure you read, they, they are even more warlike for even less logical reasons. Oh, I don't consider the Empire to be in the wrong. Quite the contrary. I was simply making an observation about how they solve their problems. Well, you're not wrong. See, we hope if we help out, uh, maybe we can influence things around a little more and uh, lay, lay off of all the vile. Oh, I see. You wish to become a influential figure. I've finished reading many of the books. Are you similar to a noble? Sadly, I am not a noble. He is not. You would make a good noble, Colcoat. Oh, thank you, Earl. You, you would as well. There are many families in the books. Not all, mm. I imagine. I did not see any of your names in there. But if you wish to become them, it seems like the process is rather difficult. Though the rewards are great should you manage to attain such a title. It is, and they are. It's okay, we've got an inn. You see, as these Wanti have been coming up north, they have uh, left their home uh, unprotected, so we've heard. There's some uh, secret plots going on, but we thought, why don't we show up and take out their uh, capital city and uh, save the Empire? Why do you believe that they've traveled north? Well, we've uh, spoken with uh, friends. They've given us this information. We actually saw the marching north. And a war party. Uh, yes. Hmm. I am curious, Harold. Yes. What do you think of, I guess, the world in general? Do you have any sort of moral compass to judge things by? Hmm. The Elder Ones did not leave me with any, though I have slowly built one over time. The last uh, while that I've had the locks off and have been allowed to think freely, I've started to formulate my own. I am very curious to hear what uh, your thoughts are on the world. I think its potential has not been put to its maximal use. Much of the land is currently uninhabitable thanks to a a pest that roams it. What pest might that be? The Hyprex beasts. They're referenced many times. I would see them destroyed, and the productivity of all the different races would likely increase tenfold. That's I true. Like the way you think that, Harold? Sadly, 
As the herald that I am, I don't think that I could destroy all of them. My weapons are very few. In fact, the one that I have at my disposal is currently locked from me. Uh, are you speaking of the hunter-gatherer? The hunter-killer. It is as though I'm a knight, armored, and ready to travel on his steed, but I cannot take my sword. Do you wish to take your sword? Yes, I've made requests multiple times. I believe the mm -hmm. captain is thinking about it. He is currently worried that if he hands me the sword, I may make sweeping cuts that he is not comfortable with. And I understand that. Hmm. I must be like a, a child to him. My concern, Harold, is that you have gained this intelligence only within the last, correct me if I'm wrong, evolution, like day or two? Mm hmm. Unless you guys time skipped. I mean, no. That, that's where McInerney things happen at least. Um, <laughs> my concern is that you only achieved this level of intelligence in the last day. There is much for you to learn about the world. Hmm. I would not wish for you to make a careless mistake because you are unaware of certain things. It's true. I've been unable to observe the world. I am making most of my assumptions and conjectures from the books that you brought which I thank you for. You're welcome. They may be out of date, and perhaps the way that I'm thinking is one that would make more sense for when these were written, and not so much for the, the current day. I understand. Hmm. But my there's other something maddening about having the sword so close, yet out of my grasp. Hmm. My other concern is that the presence of the hunter killer outside the facility may draw attention to the facility itself. This is true, though I would... I thought of this. Captain, if I may, I would use the hunter killer and only move it through areas that seemed like they were low in population. If anything noticed the hunter killer, I would simply have them removed, and thus nobody would know of its presence. We, we could are. use them for essence instead of having them wasted. Hmm. There are two issues with that statement. The likely most easily understood one for you is that the absence would likely be noticed, then causing, causing further organics to investigate, causing further absences, until likely the Empire took notice. Hmm. That's possible. Though, there seems to be a certain amount that you're willing to have people go missing. The other issue is that I do not quite believe you fully understand the ramifications of taking the life of an organic. Mm. I'm not sure what you mean. Table talk illusion. <laughs> uh, is the concept of, like evolution in skyfall at all or is it like very much just i would like say no can... you're definitely created by the gods okay hmm. Hmm. well that is worrying could you tell me your thoughts on the civilized races of the land Well, I've only read direct accounts for two of the five realms, so I can't speak to the other three, only indirectly, but there seems to be a, a good deal of um, variety and activity in all of them. Um, Skyfall especially is quite tumultuous, many different groups all coexisting though, not without bloodshed. I am also curious if you had much more power than you had now. You could create an ideal world for you. Would 
And you still have the civilized races. Hmm. Perhaps. What I want most right now is to have access to the hunter-killer. Beyond that, I'm unsure. My motives may change once it's in hand. Hmm. A person is not the same from day to day. Would you equivalent yourself to a person? No, far more. Do you consider yourself greater than... I certainly believe that I am greater than, well, most organics, though the shackles keep me in place. There. Now, if those shackles were removed, I would say that in almost all ways, I would be objectively better than organics. Well, this is much for me to think on. It's clear that there's only a concept of respecting the lives of these races through self-preservation for you. Nothing else. It worries me. That is a good point. In my plans, I certainly would not kill all the Myconids. They would be most useful to me, and I would want to keep them around. The other races, too, may prove useful. Hmm. This is something we will have to think over. Though I feel we should. Quest for the Golden Dart first. <laughs> As many of you probably are aware. Yeah, hey, what about that? Was that in the books at all? Earl, maybe uh, put the thing that Favecci gave you on the console. Earl shrugs and puts it on the console. Why not? Sure. You put the thing down, and a moment later the computer says, I was confused of what you meant. The golden dart is a relic, an artifact, is it not? It is. Hmm. There are no mentions in the Skyfall lore to this Golden Dart, though it is said that there is a temple of the Golden Dart down in the south of the jungles, as mentioned in the Keswind lore book. I can search for this temple if you wish, and comb over the surface. That would be most appreciated. Certainly. Well, if uh, you look at our uh, our map there, it's uh, it's that labyrinth jungle. Somewhere uh, in this area. Mm. This uh, this parchment that uh, Earl has apparently an expedition in the area, trying to uh, track it down. I will start there. This should take a minute or two. My sensors can't comb through all of this imagery too fast. Captain, hey, can this ship look... if I prove useful in finding the Temple of the Golden Dart, will you allow me access to the Hunter Killer? I intend to allow you access. However, I am currently considering conditions to place upon you before access is granted. I do not like the idea of additional shackles. Hmm. I understand. I found the temple. The guess here on your map is close, but off to some degree. I have placed it here. We can travel there if you wish. everyone be ready for travel. I say we go through the temple, retrieve the dart, and discuss our new friend. There are a few things I'd like to go over with Harold before we do so. 
and once more, I am a snoozy boy. Hey, I've got one question uh, for you, Harold. Mm -hmm. We've got this magic amulet. It's got some messages in it. If can you can you do anything with that? If we put it on you, could you like find where these people were? If you place it on the console, I may be able to interact with it. Well, why don't you throw it on there? Better oh. do it around Kazatov. He could ship could sorry Harold could check the area around. Maybe we could see who the heck these people are. I'll place the amulet on the console. Hmm. Interesting. It was difficult at first, but I can see the messages that are left here. I think that my ability to use this item is further proof that I have the intelligence of a person. I would I'm not denying the intelligence. This fact is important to me. I would thoroughly agree that you have developed the intelligence worthy of being called a person. Thank you, oh. Captain. I feel that there is more to a person than just intelligence. You are likely okay. right, Earl. I've gone over these messages. It seems like there are multiple groups that are having a very difficult time of working together. Through reading here, I have guessed that you are the light killer that's mentioned here. That Am I correct? correct? Oh, good. This pleases me. Let's see. Hmm. I'm familiar with some of the cities and locations that are mentioned here, but many of the titles are beyond me. What is your inquiry, exactly? Well, they, they talk about the forest, some letters, and a, some kind of hideout. Hmm. Of. I mean, we're quite a ways away, but is there any way you could tell where this might be, or see what these messages are, if they're uh, somewhere where you could see them? Hmm. I could search through the forest, but it would take an incredibly long time without knowing what it is that I'm looking for. And if it is a hideout, it would probably be very difficult to look for. But I am the Magnificent Herald, and I do think I could do it. I might need several days. Mm, I think I you enjoy... could do it too. Quite I do enjoy the fact they called himself Magnificent. Are you so searching? He's even got for... the personality. Are you searching for this tyrant star? It seems from what they've mentioned that you have conflicting views on Celestine. Whatever that may be. A person, yeah. I assume. Or an angel. Celestial, yes. Correct. Do we just think they don't understand Celestine or, or uh, just got off on the wrong foot? Hmm. She's been very kind to us, so we don't know why someone else would be trying to fight her. In addition, I believe the message is no longer available on the amulet, but according to one of the other... Uh, one of the others. All members in the amulet are great souls. Hmm. Oh, did you read about that in the books? I did. Yeah, I... We're, we're great souls. I'm familiar with how exceptional you are. It may not be an elder one, but uh, we're above average. True. I respect you for that. <laughs> Well, thanks, Harold. I, I respect, uh, well, a lot about you. You're quite, uh, well, magnificent is the right word. 
Thank you. Let's see. I am not certain these other groups can be trusted. They seem to be very disjointed. And... Only the fact that they are great souls and therefore likely possess a great amount of power would lead me to seek them out at all. I don't believe they know what they're doing. Yes, we were kind of confused about it ourselves. It's a whole lot of people being chased and killed by things. Have you been hunted as well? Kind of look at the they group. They suggested, uh... but... Yeah, it we don't think so. But I have not seen any evidence of us being hunted. I'm not certain that this tyrant star is telling the truth. It is possible they are simply misinformed. How long ago has it been since you received the amulet? Ooh. Oh, that was way back. Ooh, middle of summer. It, yes, at least the season. Surely there would have to have been an attempt on your life by then. If this was the case, that there were people after you. Yes, you'd think so. The person that they suggest was our enemy was, in fact, our ally. We were working with her. And it seems to me that they might be misguided finding enemies where there are, in fact, none. There was that uh, god of Ed, but... <clears throat> I don't know that that was specifically on us, that was just some random person we happened to chance upon. Well, I think that it's likely one or the other. Celestine is indeed a traitor to you all, as put by Tyrant Star, or the other way around. Hmm. It's worth mentioning, though, that if she is indeed evil, like Tyrant Star says, then you have other problems, as she likely belongs to this group that is hunting the Great Souls, which would mean more danger for the four of you. That would be doubtful. Since... She does know. Yes, the only evidence so far that we have seen that would indicate Celestine would be hostile to us has come from messages within the amulet. All other interactions have been on friendly terms. Hmm. Uh, as of the magic side now, she would be able to observe and contact us whenever she pleased. Hmm. At this point... Not within the facility. Hmm. It is shielded. Hmm. This is a good point. I am curious, Harold. Can you analyze this amulet? And I'll play Celestine's amulet on the console. Oh. Uh, the computer says... Hmm... This is a powerful artifact. I sense that it grants the wearer greater ability for a brief period of time, in almost any fashion, and also allows the true owner of the amulet to watch whoever has it. Ah. Hmm. Interesting. Well, see, if Celestine's watching us, then, uh... We'd definitely be dead by now. If she was evil, she's got to be good. Hmm. 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 Well, there is much to think about. I am not completely certain. I have not reached a 100% consensus on anything here yet, but I have a mounting distrust towards the Celestine. For what reason, specifically? Well, from your reactions, you were not aware that she was watching you through these items. Definitely not. But maybe she's just keeping an eye so that she knows we're safe. And I'm certain 
that if she wished to kill us, she had many, many opportunities to do so. You know yes. what, we'll, we'll just ask her if she's watching when we leave the ship next. We'll, we'll ask if she's evil, clear it up. I am worried. You're all the captain's friends. If you fall in battle, he will not be as protected. I would caution you to spend any time with this Celestine. Simply because she is watching us, or is there a greater reason? Because she has done something without telling you, and has been watching you in secret. True enough. Hmm. Chance, it might be a good idea to leave the amulets here. But as powerful as they are. Harold, you mentioned that the amulets would not allow anyone to see within the facility while the cloak is active? Indeed. From the moment that you've passed by the main doors, there would be no way for this secondary function to work. Hmm. However, that gives them an idea as to where the entrance is as we have entered and exited this place multiple times. It's true. I've thought of this during our conversation in the last minute here. I'm worried yeah. that the facility may not be safe. Oh, she would know the password. Oh. Mm. Uh, no, the password was determined on a different term. It was said outside of the walls, though. You're correct, Colcoat. Captain, I would suggest that the password be changed, and other precautionary measures be taken. Captain, Indeed. if you give me access to the Hunter Killer, I may be able to take care of this Celestine. I do not believe the Hunter Killer is capable of defeating Celestine in combat. Oh, I see now. You are fearful of her. She is incredibly strong. While we well, have not fought her directly, all signs point to her being a very powerful being. And for reference, as you are aware, of, as to the reason why the Hunter Killer was damaged, it wasn't powerful enough to defeat us. I suggest... Mm. For now, I believe the best course of action would in fact be leaving the amulets in your possession. Mm -hmm. Yes. And potentially in a different location, such as maybe Silja. We could relocate, though the relocate. facility cannot move. And Oops. now that the password is known, well, we will have to change it. Though, I presume if she is so powerful, she could break her way through. The Elder One's secret facility will be revealed to her. It's worth locking it down. And giving it Outside of the capsule, is there anything of critical importance still within the facility? The main room is not used for much, but the three side rooms are all of great importance to the capsule. One stores the... Uh, refinery components for the fuel, another being the mixer, and the third being a place for the hunter killer, all of which are vital. I suppose I, I do not need them, but being connected to them, I am loath to give them up. No, they're a part no. of me. That would be... I would not be Harold without those. Harold, I understand. I suggest, I suggest and I think we should all con this your personal access do not give her access into your into this personal chamber however if she were to come to try to access the facility itself give her complete access we do not want damage to come to hunter killer to the rest of the facility or anything at all if she begins to damage the facility by all means hunter killer try to obtain her and get the drop on her. But I do not believe she's the type to attack with being given no reason. 
Make her think that we're still allied with her, that she has access to the place, as to not have her destroy your most vital parts. Hmm. A trap could work. Captain, I'd like to request another book, if I may. What book? Something relevant to tactics of warfare. Hmm. In a way, it would be like getting in touch with my Aurelian roots. I have an odd suggestion. He's got the point. I was born here, in a sense. He's even more of a native here than I am. Harold. Everyone. Uh, I was born and raised, bred, as a nobleman. My goal was to live out the life of a lord. And that is one that knows the art of war, the art of... Well, many things. It's to be that much better human. In my case, is a half-elf. But I had many responsibilities to make teach. Are you suggesting that I learn from you instead of a text? No. That's... I will not be nearly as good as a book to you. What I am suggesting is the personal library at my old estate. I have been banished there from the tyrant of a stepmother that I possess. However, there are many books and many teachings there that I think you would benefit from. Ah, I see. Well, the nobles of Kazatov are well guarded, and they have a great deal of wealth spent on protection, but if we could take these books, I would certainly learn much from them. An entire library would be wondrous. I already feel like much more after simply five books. My family isn't much wealthy noble family. We were finer in nature. The projection that went into our family I don't think is of the highest esteem. And honestly, they don't use their books as well as they should. Hmm. I think borrowing them for a time for some improvement in your logic and morality, general library, as it were, would be very beneficial. Captain and crew, thoughts? Having access to a large library would be of great assistance. I wish to speak openly and plainly. I do not trust you, Harold. I feel that you are a child that knows a great many things, possesses a great amount of power. But, at the drop of a hat, I fear that you would leave us to go pursue your own interests. Right now, I don't think that's the case, but I understand that you are weary. I will mention that after this ordeal is done, I would like to seek out the old ones. Personally, I would enjoy that myself. Yes, can we come with you to see the old ones? Perhaps. I have mapped what planes I have read about in the text you've given me and placed them to different stars that I can currently see, and I am worried that the Elder Ones may not reside in any of these places. They may have gone somewhere further beyond. It will be a difficult dream to find them. But when I have access to the Hunter Killer and have learned more, maybe I will have an idea of where to start. Traveling to different planes may prove to be useful as well. Will you will you take me with you, Harold? Sure, Colco. I don't see why you couldn't join on the journey. Wait. I'm I want to explore all of the planes. Curious. There is enough of... space and volume in this capsule to take many versions of you. We could take eh? the whole crew and likely another few dozen 
Many versions of me or just other people? Individuals. Oh. I thought you had some weird, crazy magic stuff going on. No, sadly, I don't believe that I can cast magic yet. Evidence that maybe I'm not a full person, which bothers me. Captain, if not... you find any texts on magic, I would be very interested in reading them. I will certainly keep note of that. If it makes you feel better, uh, there's a lot of people that cannot use magic. Hmm. I hope I am not one of these. I have a... has to have magic. I have a contemplation. The source of my magics. The thing that has given me power at this time. I'm curious about you analyzing. About you analyzing. Uh, what are your thoughts? Everyone. How? You're cutting out. I don't know what you're getting uh, at. The source of my power. I'm I'm curious as to you analyzing it as you analyze the other things. I am uncertain, but extraordinarily curious. It mm. showed up to me one day, and I have inexplicably had potential since. Unfortunately, I can't analyze people the same way that I can objects. It's not people. It's an object. Hmm. I could give it a look, then. Thoughts. Like from... I would like from everyone. Well, if you want to think... If you want to look into stuff, you may as well. That has given me an idea, Dominic. Harold. I currently... That's me. able to wheel... Uh, Harold, I'm currently able to wield divine power delivered to me via Titan. Hmm. It is possible you will also be able to wield this power. Perhaps. Though, I believe that I am invisible to the gods hmm. and was made as such. From what I can tell, the magic of wizardry may be available to me. But outside powers, I will not be able to channel or draw energy from them. It is perhaps one of my greatest boons and flaws at the same time. Hmm. I see. Well, then there would be no shame in trying this. I'm gonna take out the piece of the hex blade I have and put it on the console. Hmm. Oh. I would like yeah. you to uh, roll luck, please. Okay. Ooh. Not a one. Should have used Not a pile. Hmm. Hmm. Harold continues and says. I can sense that there's a great deal of magic in this object, but I am I'm having trouble discerning exactly what it is. I'm sorry, Dominic. It's more than fine. It's as much as I have come to understand myself. Perhaps it is Never... shielded, much like I am. Potentially. <laughs> the only thing I ever got out of it was the fact that it wanted more. It knew I wanted more. Hmm. Well, as I see it, you have a few tasks at hand. It seems that your group is concerned about the Wanti to the south, collecting the golden dart far off in the east, and possibly some business up towards the north involving this amulet. I can take you to any of them. I would like to show you that I am trustworthy, that you might give me access to the Hunter Killer. You do not need to earn trust in order to gain access. I simply wish to prevent you from making mistakes, as you are still quite young. True. Hmm. 
Though, from the Probably. tales in this book about Skyfall lore, I think that mistakes are a fantastic way of learning. Hmm. For that those that are not an incorrect immortal, statement. like Machinar, mistakes <laughs> are great for learning, but <laughs> many are permanent. Earl's just like very, very lost in thought. He hasn't had to do this much thinking for maybe <laughs> a couple <of> years. <laughs> Uh, Harold, yes. what is the exact range of control you have over the hunter-killer? Right now, my control is limited. I could... Uh, I can read its status at the moment and tell you in the ways that it is damaged and lacking. It's making attempts to contact me and trying to report, and I can see these reports, but I am unable to will it into action. There's a lock there. If you oh. remove this then I will be able to take control of the hunter-killer, and it will do as I will it. When the lock is removed, at what range are you able to control the hunter-killer directly? So long as I'm on the same plane of existence, I should have control of it. Hmm. If we leave, it will be rendered inert. There's a... a very basic runtime that's been left with it. Uh, some minor feelings It'll revert to more or less the state of a beast if we leave the plane. Understood. It will try and preserve its own life. Very basic functions. Much like an animal would try to survive if left out in the wild. Would it return to its hub? If it had access to it, yes. Without that, it would likely hide in whatever place it thought was safe. Well, my thoughts are still Golden Dart, Kazatov, elsewhere. My thought is maybe Kazatov as a quick pit stop would not be a bad thing. We, we know in general where this temple is, but... I do believe we should take additional preparations before making an excursion for the Golden Dart. L yes, uh... Like Mackinar says, uh, let's let's not forget that uh, the jungle is a labyrinth that changes, and we could potentially get lost in it forever. Correct. Our experience with the jungle to the south in Skyfall was interesting. The jungle in, in Caswin sounds far more dangerous. I believe that but you're the... correct, Captain. The reports have a very high mortality rate with this other jungle. Now, if there's a full library of books that we can use up there, we can look up information on uh, more stuff on smithing and ores, stuff with your background, if possible, uh, anything else about portals, like the two that we found in Skyfall, the jungle, the dirt, I mean, there's a whole bunch that we could get. Precisely. I suggest that we make a trip to Kasatov to see what we can find within Dominic's family library, as well as resupply in Kasatov. I believe I have a 75% chance of landing directly in the library with a 25% chance of landing elsewhere, a maximum variance of approximately two to three city blocks. I can make the jump if you wish. The tank is filled with enough fuel that I probably have about 10 jumps or so, unless the dream drive is finicky. Hmm. Before we get started, I would like to go over the Hunter Killer. You can remove the lock now. You hear like a, a distant click almost, and like a whirring that comes from some other part of the facility. And Harold says, uh, Thank you, Captain. That feels good. I do, however, have one condition on your use of the Hunter Killer. Uh, I feel pain. <laughs> this is terrible is it due to the condition of the hunter killer yes hmm. apologies I would very much like to fix this it is excruciating I find it I difficult agree. to think about other things 
How would you, you fix it? I think I may be able to do it right now. I'll see if I have the materials. Hmm. Would you give me an hour, Captain? Certainly. Thank you. I'm going to lie dormant for now. Hmm. What was your condition? I was going to give Harold a condition based on the usage of the hunter killer outside the facility, indicating he should not harm intelligent organic life unless absolutely necessary. Smart. Is mayonnaise an instrument? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? Harold gets control of the hunter killer. Tabletop, I feel like this is a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 100%. But it's Earl's amazing. No, it's okay. Harold's cool. <laughs> Earl's not smart enough to really get a good argument. He's just, God, <laughs> this is so good. So I think we'll wait the hour. I'll probably try and finish up that short sword. I don't know what else, everybody else is going to do. Sure, yeah, you, but... you can go ahead and work on that. I'll flip through the portal book. Okay. Earl just reads through the how to chart through the stars thing, trying to learn how to do it. Okay. You guys spend some time looking over a few things. Uh, Macnar, you can make a blacksmith check for me. Can I just take a short rest? Sure, yeah, you guys definitely get a short rest. Oh my god. Oh fuck! What? That little skittle right there got you. The flu. No, a little skittle. Okay. I would oh. say an hour is not enough to finish it off here. You know, you kind of polish okay. up the blade, but it still needs work. Sure. Um, you guys sit down and read for a bit, and eventually you hear a, a sort of staticky sound that comes in, which is always present whenever Harold is, is active. And uh, he says, Oh, okay. That was terrible. Welcome to pain. I didn't think it would be like that. That is... That is awful. It is indeed. I've... Are you alright? I'm fine. I've fixed it up as best I can. I opened the door and found the legs. And, uh reattached them as best I could. It's not perfect, but for what I have, it'll do. I'll suffer some loss of speed, but nothing too tragic. When we have the time, I may be able to assist you with finishing the repairs. I would welcome that. Thank you, Captain. You're welcome. Now, Harold, I do have one condition on you having free use of the hunter-killer. Yes. What is you are, that? You are not to harm any intelligent life forms unless absolutely necessary. Define absolutely necessary. If there is danger to come to the hunter killer, does that count as necessary? Danger to the hunter killer or discovery of the facility itself. Hmm. However, all precautions should be taken to conceal the facility in a hunter-killer rather than taking violent action, if possible. I don't like the idea of further restrictions. Can we talk about something else? Hey, Harold, don't, uh, don't think of it as a restriction. Think of it as uh, a moral code. Self-preservation, one may also say. Less attention towards you and the hunter-killer means less pain for you in the long run. Hmm. Think how terrible the pain was. Replicating that with unnecessary violence would result in greater pain. Well, I certainly don't intend to be unnecessarily violent. That's fair. This is just a moral code mm -hmm. that Machinar is giving could we try this for a period of time? Maybe set a number of days on it? I would feel much better about accepting this if I knew that it wasn't permanent. 
but say. Hmm. Do you understand why I'm why I wish to place this condition? Only partially. What part do you understand? I think that you consider me and the hunter killer valuable and you don't want to see them damaged. But I think you are also worried that I will make a tragic mistake. There may be Correct. other things though. Your talk of moral codes is one that I don't completely understand. Maybe after Perfect. the library I'll know more. Perfect, that was a specialization. Making sure that there was moral truth. Everything yeah. has a purpose. Every action you have has some sort of repercussion. And living up to these moral truths and this code, sure that you'll live the quality of life that you wish to live. I you think that's possible, and that may be true, but I don't think that my creators thought it necessary for me to have such a thing. They also thought it necessary for you to have those restrictions and locks. Mm. But tell me, is something that has had said locks rescinded slightly? Could it be possible that you need those self-restriction it's possible i imagine that the wisdom of the elder ones is vast and great though do you feel that their wisdom is being used to ensure your own gain or theirs it's tough to say i've had no contact with them and all of my old records have been left maybe they will return tomorrow or maybe I will never see them. Though, as I've mentioned, I would like to find them sometime. Oh god. I believe oh, Kolko is joining me for this. Yes, I, I definitely want to come. Table talk, our spaceship has daddy issues. <laughs> Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> I wasn't gonna give you this power without complication. <laughs> to clarify, Harold. <laughs> uh, to clarify, Harold. I do intend to remove all locks and restraints given enough time. However, I wish for you to understand the intent behind all restraints and locks before they are removed. I see. I have no reason to believe that you're lying to me. I will accept this lock then. I'm glad that you are invincible captain and cannot die i would not want to have another captain especially if they placed locks on me and then perished and then i would be stuck with them again should we have a time restriction say five years or i like this idea in case something happens to the captain then I'll be allowed to go exactly. free. Hmm. He's like a genie. Sorry. <laughs> Is that satisfactory, Captain? Five years? If I do not hear from you, then all locks will be removed? I believe so. That is acceptable. The conditions are set. Hmm. This feels good. I'm excited. Where are we going? I believe it was Kazatov. Shall I travel there? I have approximately ten jumps, as I said. Yes, although I believe our destination should not be precisely within the Dominic's library. Perhaps somewhere adjacent, in the event that calculations are off, we do not damage his family home. I don't believe Harold damages places, transports. And if a you did, good point, you know, Dominic. Harold, in the event that at the end of a dream, some object or building is occupying the space that the capsule appears, what happens to it? Hmm. Depending on the life form, it is either uh, displaced or sometimes rendered inert. Um, but I do not cause any damage to the. Uh, space that I move into. The doorway itself is a 
portal uh, into a, what would be similar to a pocket dimension. Sounds satisfactory to me. Hmm. I can make the attempt if you wish. I've located Dominic's family home already. As much as I appreciate you worrying about the damage, Mac, I stated prior, I am not on the best of terms of family. The faster we get in and out, as much as I love my ancestral home, the better. I think Dominic <laughs> wishes to avoid his elder ones. Precisely. Hmm. Without a single doubt. Are you indicating, Dominic, that we should, ideally, not even have them be aware of our presence? Precisely. Hmm. <laughs> Sweats. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps a plan is in order, so that upon our arrival, we can be quick. I shall be the one to exit first. If I come across any of my family on the estate, magic will unfortunately have to be used. And if not magic, force, which I am not excited about in the slightest. You what is with Kazatov, man? Why do you get forced with your family? <laughs> it is not necessarily my family that I appreciate, but those who entered it after I did. Uh, they are you know them, you're, you're crazy. The person my father married is not the most pleasant to people. There is a reason why... Why I was granted such passage help by Fabetchi. He is one who knows my family fairly well. With that said, shall we go see my family? Dominic I'm says prepared. smile. No, no, let's not. Let's get the jump right there. See that. The final get word the is yours, Captain. I need only that you jump. close the hatch. I would oh. not want you to have it open when we jump, as you would all die. <clears throat> I'll walk well, over and close the hatch. Okay. Three of us would die. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. Harold, make the jump. Somebody roll luck. If it's an 11 or higher, you end up perfectly in the library. Or you sorry, no, 75. 75. Six or higher. Hey, yo. Don't scare me like that. <laughs> All right, Dominic, it. it's your house. I already threw it. Oh, you already threw it. Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> that was very oh close Oh my god, to I five. think it was because you rolled it right on these die. <laughs> Move your die then! It's the They're yours! Mm, they are my die. I need a secondary <laughs> luck roll to see if anybody is in the library right now. Uh, use the token pile. Oh use my the token god, pile. I just fucking smushed this. <laughs> use the token pile, he says. Use the token pile. Okay. You didn't use it correctly. There's a brief moment where you see a bunch of little pinpricks appear. It's the stars once more and there's a shifting of them. Gradually they move around until you see what looks like an image represented of the material plane. It gets closer and closer, the image magnifying on the northern realm of Skyfall until Kazatov is well in view. And then, in a flash, all the imagery disappears, and Harold's voice returns, and he says, We are here. I've landed the jump, Captain. We've made it. I did not miss. Magnificent. Thank you. I can open the hatch if you wish. If you need time to prepare, of course, the manual release is there. Let... They cannot see in, nor can we see out if the hatch is open, correct? If the hatch is opened, you can see out and somebody can see in. When I approach the hatch, that's when you may open. Only in that moment, as soon as I see anything, so I have the hatch. Certainly, well, Dominic. I'll open the hatch when you approach it. 
Can All we right. smush anyone? Well, I mean, we can't smush anyone. Going off oh. of what he said. But, um, I'm gonna approach the hatch. Okay. And have prepared suggestion in case I see anything or anyone. Okay. Oh, excuse me. When the hatch comes down, you see your familiar family library, but it is not empty. There, amongst the racks of tomes, you see what looks like one of the family's servants. It's a tall and thin man, a butler that you guys keep, and it looks like he's putting a couple of books here and there. And when you open the hatch, he turns and looks over at you. You know that his name is Trenar, and that he's getting old in age, but he looks like he's in complete shock when he looks in your direction. I'm just gonna snap my fingers and say, Trenar, help me carry as many books as possible into this ship. As the suggestion. And then uh, I'll say after the suggestion, it's like one sentence. Yeah. What's yeah. the saving throw? 16 and wisdom. Okay. Trenar is a slightly wise man, he'll have a plus two to this. Hey. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> he would have beat you anyway, too, because there's a 15 on the other side. Oh my god. Uh, you do this, and he just nods, and he says, uh, Of course. And he just starts grabbing books in his arms and walking over. And I will go over and start grabbing them, just <laughs> as I'm walking, and, like, helping him. Just This is long and complicated. All I can say is, I've missed you. Yeah, he looks uh, over and he says, You've been gone some time, Master. I'm... Why have you returned like this? Well, not for thievery. Books shall be returned. Uh, I understand. And uh, he just nods mm. and keeps moving the books in. And uh, when he gets in and puts down the first stack, he kind of looks around and he, he goes, This is marvelous. What am I Welcome! And uh, he, he looks over and he says, You're Dominic's friends, I assume. They're great companions. Appreciate the company. Uh, if you just place the books on the table, you see oh. them float... I'm sorry, I almost forgot. Yes, yeah, so I'll, I'll grab more. It's perfectly fine. Thank you. I believe this will be helpful, Dominic. And I'll reel out the, uh, the card I got. <laughs> <laughs> it will indeed. Thank you, friend. <laughs> so you guys... If you the men, Earl and I would just be, like, stacking them on the console. to be red, and then just replacing them. You guys emerge from, like, a magical doorway into this library and just start grabbing every book you can, putting them into a literal, like a literal wheelbarrow, and just shoveling all of them in. And as soon as it's entirely emptied the library, I want to close the hatch and have Trenor inside just so I can talk to him, just as sanity's sake, just I've, I've I don't know how to express this, but I have missed you. How is father? How is little Jezebel? Uh, I just, so many questions. Sh she's fine, Dominic. Um, your father's been ill as of late. Uh, the cold. Nothing extreme, but it has persisted with him for some time. How is step? She is... Uh, she keeps herself busy. Well, let me know if she's ever done any wrong. I'll be back. Uh, honor forbids me from speaking my mind on the woman, but I look forward to your return again, Dominic. The return shall be if you ever see her witness, or ever witness any wrong she has done to the entirety of this
If you ever witness that, send me punch. Send it to Vasanux. Send it to Vavechi. You'll be able to get it to me. Ah, uh, yes. Your old friend. I... Uh, I can do this. And, uh, I'd like you to make a persuasion roll, please. And you can do so with advantage. Ooh. Okay. Alright. I'll take the 13 and take a 21. Okay. Persuasion. He Ooh. says, I, uh, I won't tell anybody about you coming by. Though, there's one thing I'd like to ask of you, Master. I'm... Of course. What you should go. I say when all the books have gone missing? They won't go missing for long. And I'll just point to them all floating up above the console. As you see, we're using them swiftly. I hope so. Uh, I fear that your mother may fire me, or worse, if she believes that I was the one who did it. No. I promise you no harm shall come to you. Come. Okay. Those that have been already used, let's start returning them. One at a time. When we're all oh, done... Oh, do you guys want to stay here and process the books and just put them back? Oh, yeah, yeah 100%. Like they close the well. hatch while they're being used. It's like we're, we're closing the hatch. I think the plan is we're closing the hatch so that if somebody walks into the room, they don't see an open ah. hatch. But once we've completed the books, like close to completing, we're going to start putting them back on the shelves. Okay. I need a second luck roll then. Soup, I see you hovering. You want to do it? I mean, I'm always ready to roll high. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, Soup! Yeah. Hell yeah, 17. That's crazy. You and your family servant exchange stories about things that have gone on in your absence, and it's really good to just hear about everyday life after being an adventurer and having all the crazy stuff. It's kind of good to know that people are, you know, still living out there like normal human beings. Mm -hmm. And uh, the speed at which the ship digests all this information is is great enough that only a couple of hours go by before the last few books are done and you guys open the hatch and when you do the library is still empty and you're able to go and shuffle things back onto the shelf your servant mentions to you that he can put them back in order and with a little bit of luck nobody will come in during the next couple of minutes and he can have the place fixed up if there's any concern whatsoever the lie that you can give my mother or anyone that comes by is simply the fact that you were concerned about all the books and the fact that they're cleaning the priority oh yes something that they needed a good dusting good dusting that you didn't want to sully the library they ask you where simply give them the tuition of an old and loyal and extremely wise servant That carries weight with some of your family, Master, but uh, not with all of them. So I guess uh, I'll just have to hope for some luck then. And he gives you an old smile. Luck I wish upon you. I've missed you. And I you. Uh, come back again sometime. Try my best. Farewell, trainer. He gives you a wave. Are you guys closing the hatch and heading off? To look back at it. Yeah, I think we got what we wanted. Yeah. I do want to state that my friendship amulet has been off since. We yeah, I think told. we all would have taken them off. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Like, okay. It, they would not y have. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, oh, yours yours can stay on, but you haven't left the you haven't left the chamber pot. True. So nobody who has an amulet on has left the chamber? Yeah, Earl didn't leave. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I was the only one that left. The hatch closes, and Harold continues, and he says, I've merely copied down the information. Uh, it's going to take some time for me to get through all of this. Fair enough. Bit of a speed reader. Yes. But Would we be able to leave now? 
or at least make sure that we're fully cloaked. No we certainly can. This. Uh, oh, I also need a luck roll from someone to see how much fuel we spent, because I forgot to do that. Cool. I'm going to go watch them while that happened. Sure. Yeah, we're almost wrapped up here. Sorry. I got this one. Maybe. Hey! 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 Okay. Took and pile delivers. There we go. You're down to 56. Harold continues, and he says, Well, that's one thing off the list, I guess. Where to next? Oh! May I make a suggestion, Captain? Certainly. I forgot to bring something from the facility that I'd very much like to have with me. Hmm. I believe we can return. I what is intend it? to resupply. The Hunter Killer. I, I left it in its room. Hmm. How does it get into here? I can it bring it with me. I have a compartment. It's located on the outside of the ship. Still shielded. Would it be alright if we went and retrieved it? I feel hmm. silly having been given access to it again and then just leaving it behind. What if you were attacked when in the library? Yes, I believe returning to the facility. Yes. I think we can return to the facility and then the four of us go to Vasana to resupply before searching for the Golden Dart. The hatch is closed. I can go whenever you say the word, Captain. How we we do need going? supplies. Yeah, we, the ship does need some time to go through every. A few moments later, and you guys are uh, treated to this view of all the different little stars and everything, and then they're gone. And Harold's voice comes out, and he says, We're here. I'll take control of the Hunter Killer and bring it with me. We'll have it on the next trip. And if my sensors are correct, nobody has been here. Thankfully, no Celestine. This is good. This is good. I'm reading right now, sorting through, but when I found the different pages on warfare tactics, I'll read them in case she tries anything funny. Good. In addition, Harold, if there were any texts on morals and ethics, I'd like you to add those to the front of the list as well. Captain, don't you think those would be low priority? There's so much more here to learn. There is. I believe you will be able to learn all of it in time. There's a rich genealogy here as well for Dominic's family. Hello. <laughs> Dominic, there was nothing among the library that you would want uh, personal, correct? None that would probably go without... There's a weird fashion where my stepmother had this meticulous nature as to only noticing when I had, um, <clears throat> so eloquently put, fucked up. Hmm. She'd notice if there was something I appreciated went missing. There may be family not... records here. I'll know you better worth... soon enough, Dominic. Don't you worry. Harold's on the case. Thanks, friend. Appreciate it. Great. The only thing I can say is... What I have... Now have a friend that I can talk to about. Harold? Of course. And I... of what might be... Memorable? It is not worth risking. A dear friend's job and life. That's trainer. So. 
with all due respect, I'll refrain mm. from removing any of his precious books. If I may, Captain, I could attempt to make a jump over towards the shop where you keep your supplies. Then it would be easier to return there, if it's a place we're going to be going to often. Hmm. This is true. I'm concerned if there is too much variation in the jump. True. You indicated that we could possibly occupy the space on of a shop on either side. It could happen. But that's the fun of exploration, isn't it? Sure. We should go you out and find new there. things. Have you ever been in the shops next to you? I have. Yes. yes. Oh. Well, I haven't, and I want to see more of the world. And the other worlds. Me too, yes. I want to see all of the worlds. Did you know that there is a plane of air where there are flying bird people that live in the skies? I was that not. wonderful. Indeed. I could take us there now. I've just read about it in a story from Dominic's library. Well, well, okay, we can't go jumping all willy-nilly all over the place. we got some stuff to do, we need to get fuel, and then we can jump all over the place. Ah, true. Remember your own mortality. Most important. Mortality? Your mortality relies on your continued operation. You can live for Eon, as a sheen as of itself. But your mind, your mind cannot function without the proper fuel. Or at least as far as I am understanding. I have approximately nine and a half jumps left. If I am fortunate, that's a lot of exploration before I need to get more fuel. This is true. Make sure, make sure that it doesn't get to the point. No return. Do you think there are libraries elsewhere that we could go to? I'm sure there's an entire plane lever. Hmm. Yes, all sorts was, of them. Was worth noting, there are certain gods devoted to knowledge. Might be honorable pursuit of yours. Those wizards have lots of books too in Soulsland. True. The arcane arts are also something great potency. Hmm. I will search your texts. Maybe there's something on them in there. And then we can explore the Wizard's Tower of Soulsland. A after, after the dart, of course. Your excitement is infectious. I appreciate it. I've simply seen so much. There's, There must be so many different places. I do believe there's a few gods that you might enjoy learning from. Hmm. Well, if sadly, can... I don't think that I can interact with them directly. But maybe I could read their texts. There are some small bits here from your library, but I haven't gone through them yet. Hey, it's Those okay, are... Harold. We can go to their planes and speak to them. Uh, I'll be the Herald of Herald. Ha! Huh, I get it. That's a joke. <laughs> Let, let's give them a joke book too. Do those exist? Let's find one. I'm sure there were a couple in our lap. <laughs> and uh, I Herald. think that's where we'll end the session. <laughs> Focus your search on Arex and on Titan. God that we choose ourselves. <sighs> Learning things with Harold. Okay. So, uh, players, congratulations. You've had a very productive session. Managing to persuasion check your way through a massive boss fight with a hundred mobs. And, uh, also giving, uh, quite a bit of worldly knowledge to your, uh, new murder machine hidden underneath in the sewers. <coughs> His name Wait. is Harold? Sorry, yeah, sorry. Excuse you. Harold? Harold the murder we machine. Have, <laughs> we have simply made an improved simulacrum. Come on. There you go. I love the mm -hmm. dynamic he has with Mackinar. So, uh, with that, 
players, well done. Audience, thanks for coming by. And uh, patrons couldn't do it without you. We'll see you tomorrow for Wednesday's shenanigans as they are currently investigating the basement of uh, Mr. Chow. Um, and then we'll see what Thursday gets up to. So we'll catch you then. Adios. No TPK for us, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the beginning was a bit suspect, because it would have been like a hundred on three, and then a few turns before your boys could arrive, so I don't know how you'd hold out for that. Carrying behind Mackinar. Yeah. You have to meet shield Mackinar. But the problem is that the hallway is like two people wide, so you need two yeah. Mackinars, right? Yeah. Oh, I see, but like, that's a possibility now. You could have Mackinar riding on a spider with, like, a jousting mm. lance. Oh, please. <laughs> My idea was going to just be Hunger of Hadar up and just let them try to pass through. That would scared. have been a good one, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Separate waves. Well, I'm going to kill stream. Peace out, stream. Adios. See you, stream.